Meantime, members of the American Red Cross were out helping flood victims today. They were on Canton Club Circle. 12 News and the American Red Cross are teaming up to help flood victims. And uh, to talk about this project and where the greatest need is, we're joined by Kathy Scruggs with the Red Cross. Kathy, where is the greatest need right now? Come in a little bit. There we go. Where is the greatest need right now, Kathy? Well, right now we have folks in our shelters and we have our emergency response vehicles going around the neighborhoods to see where there are people trying to clean up their homes or where they might need food or snacks, uh, cleanup kits. Um, right now, our biggest need is uh, for financial donations so we can help provide that assistance to those folks who need it. Okay, so the Red Cross needs some help in this. Thing. We do. We okay. do. We always do. And we're actually watching the rivers as they um, rise to see if we might need to open shelters further down on the Pearl or the Mississippi um, as the waters move downstream. So this isn't just like a two or three day project for y'all then? No, floods um, are one of those disasters that, that take a long time to develop and they're slow to go away. It's not like a tornado where the damage goes through and you can see immediately what has happened and people can either tell what's happened and move on. It takes a while, so it, it, even though the rain has stopped, although we're gonna get some more rain, yeah. mm -hmm. um, it takes a while for the water to move out so they can get in and assess whether their home is damaged or whether they've just been isolated from their homes mm -hmm. and they can get back in. So you're gonna need some volunteers then? We do, um, and we need volunteers, you know, year round <laughs> because we help people every day with fires. Um, but right now, we'll need folks to help distribute the food, help uh, in the shelters if we have to open up or if more people come in and seek shelter. Um, and so we're doing some training in our office on Friday and Saturday. Um, anyone who would be interested in volunteering and taking that training could come to our office um, and get that training. What is the training like? Go ahead. Um, we do, um, our first class is, is just an orientation to disaster services where we tell people what it's like to be a disaster volunteer and how we help people. Um, and then the second one is called Shelter Fundamentals where we talk about what it's like to work in a shelter and how we help people, everything from how we set up the cots to how we feed in the shelters and, and those sorts of things. So it's about working in a, in a shelter. Mm -hmm. So but, it must be rewarding to you. It is. I, I've worked for, I'm an employee with the Red Cross. I've worked for a long time, but mm -hmm. I've, I've help people in a lot of different disasters and you know we've got volunteers here um, of the almost 100 people we have working here over 80 of them are volunteers and they come from all over the country we've got a lot of local folks um, so people give up when they when they come here they'll give up two or three weeks of their time to wow. come and help okay. mm -hmm. yeah so they come in and um, and they help and they're out there handing out food and and uh, helping people do you know get back on their feet so it, it is very rewarding let me throw one real quick question in here because you say that the training is going to be at your office. Where's the office? The office is at 9 Riverbend, Riverbend uh, Place, it which is in Flowood. Better than that. Tell us how to get there. Where do you turn? Is it off? It's off, off of Lakeland. Lakeland. Uh, uh, treetops, do you go there from Treetops? You can get, you, Treetops gets you to Lakeland, and then you take a left on the river, on okay. the Lakeland, and it's right there off of, off of Riverbend. And so it's really close. GPS there. will get you right there. GPS will get you right there. The reason I ask is because I've got to be out at that office tomorrow. We're going to be out there uh, with asking people on... Uh, on News 12 to uh, help us out with uh, donations and things like that. And Fantastic. So, do, yeah, you need monetary, but do you need other things other than that? Um, voluntary, we need your time and your donations. We Right now, and, and we Red Cross doesn't collect clothing or, or donated goods like mm -hmm. that because really people don't have a place to put things. Right. So if you think yeah. about that, and um, there are other agencies that do that. Um, we, when we do assistance for victims, we provide them financial assistance so they can get back on their feet. And that also helps the community because they're spending money in stores um, to keep the businesses going. How, how do we donate? 1-800-RED-CROSS. Um, or you can text to 90999. 90999. That's right. an easy number to remember because I know all of us do a lot of right. texting. So that's easy. Yep. Um, and to, to get help to those flood victims. Right, so and uh, redcross.org online also. If you don't want to text, you can go to redcross.org or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Just out of curiosity, so when did y'all mobilize and start gearing up for this flood event? Well, interestingly, the, uh, or not so interestingly, no. the Mississippi has had one disaster right after another. So our team here in Jackson or in the state of Mississippi has been mobilized since early December. Really? And they've been, they've been dealing with one um, thing right after another. But for this flood, um, we've been going for a little over a week. 
Um, but but our team, your your folks here in Mississippi are a fantastic team of volunteers and employees. They've been going and to support you guys for for almost two months now. Mm -hmm. And just as an aside, as this flood water goes down, I got a text from a lady over in the Delta saying, "Hey, we're flooding over here now." And you know, the right. Delta was a six or eight month flood last year. It so. was, and and we're there to help for that too and like I said as it moves down and, and we're watching the Mississippi so we'll open shelters as we need it and so if folks need to know where to go they can call 1-800-RED CROSS or they can look at redcross.org online. Yeah okay. you all offer so many resources yeah. that we're all grateful for. There's an app also uh, called Emergency if they want to download an app they can find shelters or sign up for warnings to let them know if there's a tornado or a flood or anything like that that'll impact them. Well good deal. Very and helpful. Thank you, very thank you much. Kathy, so much. And then just as a reminder, join us all day tomorrow as 12 News focuses on recovery. Now, we'll be live from the Red Crosses. Well, I need to know how to get there. <laughs> Starting at 6 in the morning, uh, Candace Coleman's going to be out there. She'll be there through noon, then I'll be there tomorrow afternoon. So come out and see us and come out and help us out. And help us help the Red Cross help out. That's a lot of helping. Sounds like a Monty <laughs> Python movie there. <laughs> uh, and again, if you want to donate, go to redcross.org slash donate or call one 800 Red Cross or Red Cross or text Red Cross to 90999 to make a $10 donation. That's the easy way to do it right there.